Hi friends, welcome back to the homestead. So glad you could join us today. Well, I'm back working on the boat. So I got the uh, freeze plug that I was looking for, for the side of the engine block. It's a little thicker than I remember them, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to squeeze it in there or not, but I am going to try, because it would be a lot easier to put that freeze plug in there and tighten it up if I didn't have to pull that, in, that motor mount off. Got two of the bolts, three of the bolts loose on the motor mount, but um, the bottom bolt is precarious in its nature, where it's located. So uh, I would rather not have to remove that one or try to loosen it up. Plus, the engine itself would have to be jacked up at least, I don't know, inch and a half to get the motor mount off. The motor mount sits on a giant bolt. The motor mount comes down this way. And the giant bolt is used to adjust the tilt and the angle and the height of the front of the motor so that it is perfectly parallel to the out drive where it comes in. Because there's a drive shaft that goes in there that takes care of all that power transfer from the engine to the out drive. So that's all measured and been done. I don't want to change that if I don't have to um, because it requires a whole bunch of extra work like removing the entire out drive. So if I can get it on without removing the motor mount that's better if I can get the bolt loose on the bottom and able to remove the motor mount if I had to without taking apart the rest of the boat that's okay if I have to do the other it's not good it would take hours and hours to do that so we're going to proceed on with the easiest first and uh, see if that works out. If it does, yay, then there's a possibility we'll be at the lake today. It's about, I don't know what time it is, 1.30, 2 o'clock now in the afternoon. So I got a late start. Had to work today. Had to go pick up the part for the boat. Um, had to go back to the store I work at to pick up a, a big shelving unit that was on clearance. Um, plus my employee discount made it be less, less than half the price. So it was a real good deal. So I went back for that, lost about 15 minutes doing that, and then about 10 minutes trying to get something worked out at the register. But <clears throat> nevertheless, we're here now, brought the granddaughter with us, uh, with me. She's going to stay until tomorrow evening uh, when we all go back. I have to go back tonight so that I can work tomorrow morning and then come back here and then we'll go, uh, Just we're just going to say the positive. We're going to go to the lake when I get here, and we're going to ski and play in the water all day, and then we'll go back to the city, all of us, including the cats and dog. So, without further ado, I'm on to working on the boat now. This is the replacement part for the part that failed. It's uh, a lot different. The one that failed, I showed you, was a bronze, brass, whatever, uh, disc that you hammered into the hole. This right here is called an expansion plug. It's a rubber fleece, freeze plug. So this will slip into the hole and then you tighten this nut and when you tighten this nut the rubber expands and makes itself tight in the hole. Doing the same thing. Just hopefully easier. to go get an additional camera because there's no way you're going to be able to see what I'm doing. Um, the engine compartment's tight and it's under the engine that I'm working so I'm going to go get a small GoPro and see if I can get you or at least show you roughly where I'm working. Okay. I'm going to make this work. I'm going to have to do it, I guess, upside down, laying here. I can't, there's no way I can get down there and see what I'm doing. I don't, it's basically going to have to be done by feel if I can get it, if I can get it in there at all. It doesn't feel like there's any more than about this much room. And that's about 
half the thickness of this. So, and even if I can, I don't know if I can get a wrench on this thing to tighten it up. But I won't know until I go underneath, until I turn around and stick my head down there to see. So that's what I'm going to have to do. And there's no way I'd have to pull that motor mount off. Darn. I just have to see if I can get that bottom bolt loose. I put it on and uh, the boat was, the engine was outside of the boat when I did it. Put it on pretty strong. So let's see. Let's see if I can show you where it's at. So see down in there, see that copper color? Right there. That's where it needs to go. You can see the motor mount is completely blocking it. And that's how the mount mounts there. Which means I'm going to have to jack it up a long way. I'm not sure how easy that's going to be. Not looking great. Maybe if I pull the jack out, I can get my hand in there. I have to go get a smaller wrench. There's a water filter in the way um, for the exhaust system, so I need to try to get it unbolted to get it out of the way to loosen that bolt. In case it wasn't on when I told you last time, power steering hose um, cracked when I was moving stuff around, the power steering cooler around, getting the motor mount off. And so now I've got power steering fluid that's leaked all over. Um, not a big deal, it just got a little crunchy on the end uh, where it gets hot. So I cut it off and hopefully I have all the tools with me right now. And I can uh, put it back on. It's plenty long. The length is fine. And then get it tightened down. And move on to finishing putting the motor mount back on. And tightening it up. Okay. Back to the original task, which is putting the motor mount back on. Tightening it up. It's on. Just putting it, tightening it up.
Everything seems to be okay. Time will tell. I do need to put some power steering fluid in it. I need to check the oil again. Uh, make sure everything's cool there. And uh, we need to take it out for a test drive. It's a little late today, I'm afraid. But it's what we need to do. Tomorrow. Test drive, skiing, all that. Yay. All right. Well, everything runs good, like I said. Now it's time to hook the boat up to the truck and uh, pull it out of the spot it's been in for a year and a half or more. And uh, the interesting thing is, is, is where it was sitting, it looked like I'd be able to just back up, hook up, and pull straight out. But I can't because there's a big stick pile on the right side there, and I won't be able to make that turn without hitting the, uh, the water that comes up out of the ground there, the water spigot. Um, that wasn't there when we parked the boat. So I'm going to have to back the boat up uh, pretty much all the way to the shop and come out on the far edge of the property and pull out that way. Hopefully that won't cause any issues. I'm right between trees right now, so I'm trying to get hooked up fairly straight so that um, when I do back up, I can back up straight and my truck won't get tore up by any of the trees either. So that's just something we got to figure out and then we'll have to figure out where we're going to park it when we're done. But yeah, we got plenty of room. Okay, we got the boat hooked up to the truck. Now we're going to try and back it out of this mess we got it in to see if we can get it out of here without scratching my truck, popping a tire. You know, just a little thing. Alright, we got it out of its hole, but now I need to get all the tools and stuff out of it and put them in the shop. I got a mess in there. There's the tires up. They weren't that low. Kind of surprising, really. Um, that's a very slow little compressor, but that's okay. It does the job. Um, now I gotta see if I can get it out of here. Okay, that does that. It's ready for its, uh, not really maiden voyage, but ready for its maiden voyage in the last couple years anyway. And so tomorrow, after I get off work, I'll buzz up here and we'll take the grandkid out and see what, how the boat does. We'll stay close at first, just in case. Nobody likes to paddle a boat, especially that one, it's kind of heavy. Anyway. Appreciate you watching. Thank you. God bless you. We'll see you next time on the homestead. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Leave us a comment. Bye now.